the protesters are not on the Democrat side. <laughs> now, that should be obvious by the fact that, they, that they've surrounded Mayor Ted Wheeler's apartment and set it on fire. <laughs> uh, so the Democrats believe that they're, they're helping to protect the people who, who are literally trapping them in their homes and setting them on fire. <laughs> and they're thinking, maybe this strategy doesn't seem to sound so good on paper. But let us play this out a little bit. <laughs> give us give us a little space. We can make this work. <laughs> and Trump is just sitting back there saying, I, I got a whole army. <laughs> if you want, we can start with the National Guard, but if that's not enough, I've got a whole army. You just have to say, send them in. Because, you know, I'm no dictator. I'm not some kind of a th- authorita- authoritarian despot. I can't just send in the military. Can't do that. So you're going to have to ask me. I just, just check in with you again. Would you like to ask me? And because they can't do anything that he wants them to do, it's just, it's just impossible. They just can't agree with him. It's the, it's the most diabolical trap I've ever seen. Because what makes it good is it preys on their own stupidity, but it does it in a public way. The public is looking at this and saying, um, wait, I didn't catch the part about why you don't want the federal help to stop an enormous problem. 